India is grappling with a severe air quality crisis. Pollution levels have skyrocketed across major parts. The situation is particularly dire in Delhi and the surrounding areas, as well as parts of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. In northern India, the air quality index has reached alarming levels, posing significant health risks. The national capital is nearing the 500 mark with an average of uh, average AQI of 484 as the air remains in the severe plus category for a second consecutive day. In fact, several areas have already reported the maximum AI uh, the, uh, reported the maximum AQI level of 500, including Alipur, Anand Vihar, Bhavana, Narila, Pusa, and Rohini. Out of 38 air quality monitoring stations, 21 have observed an AQI of 490 or above. The India Met Department has issued a yellow alert, meanwhile, for moderate to tense fog across Delhi and CR, further aggravating the visibility situation. As of this morning, visibility at the Indira Gandhi International Airport stood at just 600 meters, resulting in several flights being delayed. The thick smog has impacted train services as well. Visuals from New Delhi Railway Station showing a thick haze engulfing the area. Due to the reduced visibility, 22 trains have been delayed and 9 have been rescheduled. And amid the worsening air quality levels, all physical classes have been suspended in the city schools, including classes 10 and 12. The neighboring city of Gurugram has also decided to switch fully to online classes till November 23rd. Delhi University and Jawaharlal Nehru University have also decided to conduct classes online for this week. Delhi Environment Minister Gopal Rai has written to the Union Environment Minister requesting an emergency meeting to seek clearance for cloud seeding. He has emphasized on the need to carry out artificial rain to break the layer of smog. Other Indian cities also witnessing drastically worsening air quality levels. The AQI indices in Delhi's neighboring cities, Noida, Gurugram, both well above the 400 mark. Ghaziabad, meanwhile, is soaring at 469. The AQI in Uttar Pradesh's Hapur is uh, registered at 444. Bihar's Hajipur standing at 403. Other Indian cities that are suffering uh, with an AQI of over 400 are Bagpat, Balabgarh, Bulanshahar. Uh, the situation has also, of course, sparked concern across the country over the impact of pollution on public health and safety. In response to the worsening situation, the Supreme Court has directed Delhi and NCR states uh, to strictly implement Stage 4 of the Graded Response Action Plan anti-pollution measures. It also ordered the continuation of GRAP Stage 4 measures. Even if the AQI falls before 450, the Apex Court has further directed the formation of uh, monitoring teams across Delhi and NCR region to ensure that all actions required under GRAP are being followed. The measures are aimed at minimizing the harmful effects of air pollution on residents, especially the vulnerable groups like children, the elderly, individuals with respiratory issues. With us live on the broadcast this minute is Chandra Bhushan, who is the CEO of iForest, with us live on the broadcast from New Delhi. Thanks very much for being here. Let me begin by asking you for your assessment of the situation and the way things are looking at the moment. Uh, the fact that this is a nightmare for the people of Delhi and beyond playing on loop year after year. Thank you very much for having me on your show. I think it is important to understand that we are dealing with a subcontinental scale problem. From Amritsar to Tripura, from Punjab to Tripura today, we have a haze which is kilometers thick. So it is not only about Delhi, and, and I heard you, you were talking about pollution levels in different cities of India, particularly in Indo-Gangetic Plains. So we are dealing with a massive force. Yes. We are dealing with pollution of unprecedented scale. And therefore, this problem will continue till the time we address some of the fundamental issues. Uh, what is causing air pollution? This air pollution is such extent that the level of air pollution that we are witnessing now is not because of Delhi or few cities or action in few cities will solve this problem. As I said, this is a subcontinental scale problem. 
In fact, from Sindh in Pakistan to even uh, parts of Bangladesh and everywhere is equally polluted. So IGP is severely polluted, but rest of the country also pollution levels are high. Many cities in India, in fact, a couple of days back, Mumbai was reporting very high levels of pollution. So we have to understand why this issue happens and then address some of the fundamental reasons uh, for this pollution. Right. What would you say are the immediate and long-term measures that need to be put in place, uh, given the fact that cloud seeding also is being considered as an option? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm not at all uh, uh, propagating cloud seeding and artificial rain uh, for this. Uh, unfortunately, we will have to wait for change in wind direction or rainfall, natural rainfall for pollution level to go down. By implementing GRAP4, the pollution level will not go down. Okay, Because as I said, the pollution is not about stopping few construction sites or stopping few vehicles. This pollution is much bigger in scale and intensity than what GRAP3 will be able to achieve. So while there will be some reduction in pollution level by making sure that, you know, there's a dust separation on the road and few polluting vehicles are stopped, but this pollution can only be stopped by looking at the big reasons for pollution. What are those big reasons? The biggest reason for this pollution is the amount of biomass we are burning in the entire Indo-Gangetic plain uh, during this time of the season. Starting with biomass burning in home to stubble burning in the field. And it is happening across the Indo-Gangetic plain. It is happening in Bangladesh, it is happening in India, it is happening in Pakistan. So stubble burning is happening across the subcontinent. Biomass as a cooking fuel is a major source of pollution. Then there are industries and thermal power plant. The amount of coal and other fossil fuel that we burn is, is immense. So the fundamental reason is, is, the, is the kind of energy we are using because you know it, it's common sense. What you burn is what pollutes, right? Air pollution comes out of burning something. And we are burning some of the most polluting fuels, and therefore you have such uh, intensity of air pollution. Then there is automobile, and uh, we need to make sure that uh, you know we need cleaner vehicles, electric vehicles, uh, public transport to come on our roads. And then there are things that Grab is trying to do, which is reduce dust levels, reduce congestion, reduce waste burn burning, all these things we have to do. But fundamentally, if we want to see clean air, and which is not going to be easy, by the way, you know, the people make out that this air pollution problem can be solved in five, five you know, in a year or two, that's not going to happen. We will take a couple of years, at least five to seven years, by making energy transition, making sure that cleaner fuels are used, industries are clean, transport is clean. Then only making sure that stubble burning is, uh, is eliminated. But then only you will see but all of better, you, better air quality. Uh, sure. So what you're essentially saying is that this is a problem that uh, the people will have to continue to live with for a while. There is no immediate resolution in sight. Um, what do you make of the way things have been handled? Politically speaking, you know, we are looking at an urgent meeting that's been asked for by the Delhi Environment Minister as well with the uh, Union Environment Minister. But the fact that these, this crisis has gone, gone on for years, this is not a new problem. Absolutely. And we have not addressed the fundamental issues. So I'm sure that the Delhi Environment Minister will discuss with, uh, you know, Union Environment Minister what they can do today. But I, I just, and you have absolutely said that, okay? We could have solved this problem if we, had, we would have started working on this energy transition 15 years back. We would have solved this problem. But our entire focus was cosmetic. We wanted to install smog tar and, uh, you know, uh, think about 21 uh, drone monitoring and whatnot. Those are optics. That's not why we have air pollution. So I'm not, I, I can tell you right now, whatever Supreme Court orders or whatever is will be done today is not going to solve air pollution problem. You will have extreme severe air pollution days in coming months as well. And, and therefore, I believe that recognizing 
what is the source and scale of our problem is important. As I said, it is a subcontinental scale problem. The source is energy. If we are not going to change that, people of Delhi and in fact, entire Indo-Gangetic plain are going to live with this pollution for years to come. So I think let's be honest about this issue, why this problem is. We're leaving it there for the moment. Thanks very much for being here on the broadcast and sharing those perspectives. Thank you.